funny. I mean, this is probably going to veer into a different topic. But I think Madam Web is worse than Dragon Ball Evolution. Oh my gosh. Dra yeah. Because I, I feel like Dragon Ball... There there was this there was somebody who had commented uh when I was doing the reading bad reviews for uh Madam Web, right? Uh links down in the description for that. Somebody said it's not even fun bad. And I was like, yeah. it's not. It's Cause like if you no. wa if I watch Dragon Ball Evolution, it's bad. But I could at least somewhat you can laugh at it. Yeah, I could laugh <laughs> at it. I could somewhat enjoy watching. I could tolerate it, right? Yeah. But for Matt but for Madam Web I honestly can't on like a rainy day if I don't have shit to do. I can't sit there and watch five minutes of it. It's one of those things like if you get it on Disney Plus uh, or whatever it decides to come out on, it's probably so fucking bad. Disney doesn't want nothing to do with it on their platform, knowing it's a Spider-Man project, right? Yeah. It. I can't actually sit there, click on it. And watch five minutes of it. I can't because it's actually that bad. You know? Yeah. I mean, that's, that was a really good point. It's bad, but, like, it's not fun bad. Mm. Like, fun bad Fun bad is, like, stuff like like those raunchy, like, movies. Like, you ever seen Kung Pao Chicken or something like that? Yeah. Or, or like, or, epic movie or disaster movie. Like, those. Like, those are, like, those are really bad. bad. Those are bad, but they're like entertaining to watch because yeah. they're fucking ridiculous. Well, those are meant to be like satire, raunchy. That's a little bit different. Yeah. But I would say like bad, enjoyable. What's I'm trying to think of something else. Marvel. Um. You oh, you know what? You know what? I would say the Flash. The Flash was pretty bad, but it was a little bit enjoyable. You're talking about uh, the DC, the the one that just came out, Flash. Yeah. 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 It was bad, but like it was, we weren't sitting there like, what the fuck, what the fuck, what the Where fuck. It's like, like I'll never watch this shit again. Or like you, like, you're considering walking out. You don't, you don't feel that way. Like I think Madam Web was like the the only movie where we talked the most through it. Yeah, we legitimately because we were literally like come like looking at each other like, yo, what the fuck? Like like every other scene, it was like, yo, how is this happening? Like how. None of this makes sense. <laughs> the one thing that fucks my head up every time was uh, her in the fucking taxi. She took, <laughs> she took the taxi. That's the thing is that she took the taxi. She took the kids that had um, well, kids uh, from the train. Targeted. Yeah, and it wasn't targeted. They like the guy who got it stolen. Uh, didn't report it to the police to where it could lead into like, hey, she's escaping in a taxi. This is the last time we found her. Uh, like, I get it's 2003, but it's not like the 1980s where it was way easier to get away with shit like that. Like, somehow, some way, she should have got caught, especially with the taxi. Yeah. Because I mean, it's a missing fucking New York taxi. Yeah. And then she ends up in a high rise apartment. With a fancy new wheelchair, it's like, like what happened? Well, like you still you get didn't the money, go to jail. No. You didn't. You still didn't go to jail for fucking grand Kidnapp. theft. Like come on, kidnap, grand, grand theft. theft, kidnap, yeah, kidnapping, grand theft, vandalism. I mean, <laughs> bro, like everything. You even stole an ambulance uh, while off duty. So, yeah. and crashed it. And <laughs> crashed it. Like, she didn't steal the ambulance and just, like, went to the hospital. She stole the ambulance and fucking ran uh, somebody over. Granted, I mean, he's trying to kill them. He and and destroyed a whole fireworks factory. Yeah, and destroyed a whole fireworks factory. And it was like, all is forgiven. Here's a, here's a brand new apartment and a Professor X wheelchair. She must have... Her, her little, you know, foresight for the future must have been very well because she... She must have been seeing how she's been dodging the cops, cause. <laughs> right. Well, I mean, she could. So that's the thing. It, it, it would have made sense if that was explained. I think it would have made more sense for her to have two threats after her: the police force, or the FBI, or something like that, saying, "You know, this chick has three girls in a taxi car going from New York to New Jersey to fucking Peru." You know, I feel like. I feel like the FBI should have been involved as like a secondary 
antagonist figure for the story or something like that. Or like a DODC. Just to type. give her like two different problems because honestly, Ezekiel Sims was not that much of a fucking problem. Right. She has no fucking powers. Him, he's like, he's legit has spider powers. He's the and worst he's struggling. fucking villain. He had to freaking hire a chick who somehow has the most advanced like, human tracking like technology technology of yeah of 2003 and she just knows everything and she's got like freaking satellite tracking and all that crap and in a freaking 2003 new york high rise apartment in his house why does she have to be in his house what she can't be in like some off remote area she's in his house so then it makes even no like it, it makes worse sense because it's like why didn't he fucking look it up himself he has the technology in his house but that's another thing too that makes no sense is like he attacked the girls and well not attacked the girls but he was he attacked actually the cops that were trying to stop him from getting to the girls and then that's just kind of shrugged off as well Mm -hmm. and like the thing that kills me is that he's still in new york in his high rise Mm, still looking for the girls it's like where's the cops like they played no part in this. Like this was the worst. Like he was, he was suitless. He was. Wait, was he suitless when he fought the cops? I don't think. I don't know because it seemed like he was changing his outfit very quickly. Mm-hmm. To be honest. Well, well, when he was in the with the train scene, he came in suitless. But then, right. Uh, well, when he, he fought the out. cops. Oh no, no, because no, he was crawling on the ceiling first. Yeah, yeah, he crawled on the ceiling. He so he came down out the train. The yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he came out the train with the suit, but he got but, in the train without the suit. But even then, like, there were still, like, witnesses on the train. Like, no one's going to report to this guy who's barefoot and fucking gray-haired. And going it's after the girls. And... Chasing three girls. Like, it made no sense. Like, I, I feel like this is a way where you rush the story, but you milk how bad it is. Yeah. And not to mention, in the comics, Ezekiel wasn't even like a villain villain. No, he's an anti-hero-ish. He was more like, yeah, kind of. It was just like he was more of like an adversary to Peter Parker. Like, he would like help him out from time to time, but like, he wasn't... He didn't care. Like, he, if some shit was going down in New York, it, if it wasn't really his problem, it doesn't matter. Yeah. I that's, mean... That's kind of how it was. That's what kind of killed me too, and it was just a very lazy kind of story. I feel like they could have grabbed any other villain and try to make it make sense. I, um, know, I feel like he was a kind of a bad one to use. Um, I mean, he definitely should have been introduced at some point. Yeah, not that way, and not with that actor either. That was horrible. Oh, that actor Tahar Rahim. I think that's what he. I think that's his name. Fucking sucks. Yeah. I don't know what cringy. other he was cringy the whole movie. What other project was this guy in? I gotta look up what other project he was in. Tahar Rahim. Let me see. Tahar Rahim. He's a French actor. Let's see his movies and shows. Uh, so far there's nothing I know that really sticks out where I'm like, okay, this is great. This is a great project. Yeah, nothing. Like, he's in a lot of indie films, I see. So they got, like, some indie actor and oh. thought that they could actually make a masterpiece. But at the same time, what baffles me the most is that this is a, like, the cast is not a bad cast. It is a cast no. of great actors that just a shitty project has to be stuck next to their name. Especially say, for somebody who's like really, really making a big name in acting, like Sydney Sweeney. Yeah, she has to live was, with that now. Yeah, that's what sucks too. That that's, that leaves such a bad taste in her career. Mm-hmm. Her and the rest of them, to be honest, like yeah, Dakota Isabel Johnson. And, and all um, yeah, I mean, I feel like the Dakota Johnson, because what I heard was when she signed on, the script was completely different when she signed on. And then they go went through like three different changes, and then you know it is what it is now. But it seemed like by the time they started filming with whatever script they went with, it seemed like she 
didn't really care. Because you can kind of tell in her performance in this movie because it was like kind of lackluster sometimes. Yeah. Like some of the scenes. Like I feel like some of the scenes where she was doing well is probably maybe before they changed the script up again or something like that. Right. But there was times where like you can kind of tell like her acting seemed pretty lazy and like with her emotion or whatever in, in a scene. Um, but I, I'll give it to the other girls though because and you know the other actors because they all kept it 100 except for fucking Tar. <laughs> no bro he's... all right bro that would been... and not to mention the 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 dubbed audio for his character and like they didn't even like try to clip out or even like mix the sound well with the movie yeah it just sounded it legit sounded like a voiceover the whole time like, it, it was maybe because it says he's a french actor Maybe his accent was so, like, weird to hear that they freaking AI'd his voice to where it sounded American as possible. No, I mean, I think his regular voice, I mean, it wasn't that bad. It's just, it's one, the lines they gave him were very bad. And two, again, the dubbed voices of it his was, own voice yeah. over him. Yeah. I think it was like the lines he got was corny Saturday cartoon dialogue. Yeah. I will stop them. They won't get away. Yeah, yeah it was like, you know, <laughs> shit you'd watch on like a like freaking Monday morning on Cartoon Network. Like that type of dialogue. Right. But I can't let you get close. <laughs> it, it, I mean, the, the dubbed audio could have been from script changes. So they needed to change like certain little story points. Mm hmm. Well, there was a lot of shit they probably did have to change come post-production. But, I mean, if it went through that many fucking changes, dude, you know, y'all might as well have scrapped, scrapped it. I mean, shit. It's not like they had a big but. What 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 was Madam Web's budget? What what was their budget? They, it they had, have been they had to have fell under, though. Oh, definitely. Because didn't they only make 500 mil? Uh, I think it was the first weekend box office was fu not 500 mil. 500 mil would be great for them. Madam Web budget. I don't remember. Okay, so Madam Web's budget, they only spent $80 million on the film. But for the box office, uh, right now... Or was that 50 mil? I think it was 50 mil. I can't... I don't know. I just remember seeing a 5 and a 0. Pew! I can't find where how much they made in the box office. Box office earnings. <laughs> I was about to type it in. I typed in Adam Webb. <laughs> Adam's Webb. How much did... They made 55.2 million worldwide in the box office. Yeah, so I know it was in the 50 million. They made 29.4 million in the United States and Canada. And for the other territories, they made 25.8 mil. Which gives them a total of 55 mil total. So they're about 25 mil in the hole for this movie. I but mean, you can, kinda, you can kind of tell the way they treated this movie, dude. Like, the VFX, horrible. Oh, with the spider in the glass mm. jar? Ass. That's the first one. That, yeah, that's the first one that threw me off. Mm. Like, it was like they didn't even match the color of, you know, they didn't shade the spider right. No. That's what I meant. They they just threw in a bright red spider in a jar and then was like, this looks good enough for a theatrical release. Yeah, they got the fucking Pixar. For a animators. movie that people are supposed to take seriously. For a movie that's going to change the Spider-Verse. Like, come on. If they, if they use this cast again, it, like, they... <sighs> If they use I this hope cast if they again, do, they better I hope use it in do. a project like Spider-Man 4. And they better do a I, great fucking job. 